Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a modern house. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Make it to the very end of the video to see where we place our modern house in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the house. And here are all of the materials that we will need to build in. Begin by placing a row of six grey concrete extending up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then extend to the left by three. One, two, three. And extend down to the ground. Then Come back up and extend by a further three. One, two, three. And then once again, extend that third block down to the ground. We then want to dig in between these rows and replace the grass with gray concrete. Then place two layers of light blue glass block on top of the gray concrete. Then add a layer of gray concrete on top and then fill these window sections in using the light blue glass. Next, come behind the house and place a row of one, two, three grey concrete extending up from the ground behind the frame. Then dig in the ground left of that row, one, place an oak plank in there with an oak door on top, left of that place a grey concrete, Dig two more rows to the left, one, two, and also just one row backwards. Fill all of this in with grey concrete like this. We then want to extend the grey concrete next to the door up and around the top of the door, but also left by two, and we will just extend it back by one for now. So the reason for this is because we want to place light blue glass pane in between the two layers of grey concrete like this. Then a row of smooth quartz slabs across the top of the door extending left above the window. And whilst we're here a lantern just next to the door. Next extend this row of grey concrete backwards by eight additional rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join down to the ground and then extend back on ourselves to connect to this window. Next, grab smooth quartz slabs and come to the back of the build. We want to place a row of six slabs extending out from this gray concrete block right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to extend forwards and connect to this position here, just above the window on the front of the build. We also want to create two pillars inside of this as this is an overhang for a car. So the pillars are basically placed inwards diagonally from the two outer corners of the overhang. So if you just start by placing a slab inwards from the corner, connect down at the front and the back, there you'll have it. Then all we have to do is just fill the top of the overhang in with smooth quartz slabs. You can even leave it empty if you want a bit of light in here, but on the back of the build now, we want to dig to the left of this row of grey concrete and place an oak plank in that empty space with an oak door on top. Left of this, a grey concrete. Dig in the ground to the left, place a grey concrete, and then left of this, place a grey concrete. So this is rather important, we want to extend this grey concrete all the way up and forwards to connect to the front of the build like so. 
We also want to create a row of grey concrete here, extending from the corner of the door frame, and this will help to separate out a couple of floors. So we are now going to fill around the door in with grey concrete, so extend up and to the right and to the left. We will fill this little window in here with glass, but we can now fill in the top of this balcony with grey concrete. We can then add light blue stained glass paint around the edge of this balcony. We also want to create a doorway out here, so we will leave a gap of one here on the left and then add a row of light blue glass pane connecting from the floor to the, to the roof, and then right of this, two rows of glass block. Then we will simply fill the rest of this wall in using grey concrete. We will then create a couple of lounges by placing a smooth quartz stair here, leave a gap, smooth quartz stair here, and then smooth quartz slabs extending outwards. And now we just have a chill place on our balcony to enjoy our canal. Returning to the back of the build, we want to continue digging the left of this row of grey concrete. Dig two rows to the left, replace those rows with grey concrete, and then place a grey concrete on the end. Dig two more rows going left, one, two, replace those with grey concrete, and then place an additional one on the end. Extend that grey concrete upwards and join to the right, like this, to box this in. We can then simply extend up the centre grey concrete to divide this area in half, and we want to further divide it in half horizontally to give us a series of two by two windows, which then want to be filled in with light blue glass. Whilst this side of the house is nice and open and I can get a good shot of it with the replay mod, I'm going to rip up the entire ground floor and replace the grass block with oak planks. Also, whilst we're in here, we are going to extend this wall next to the front entrance backwards by five rows. One, two, three, four, five. This will just help to divide the ground floor a little bit. Next, we are simply going to fill the entire right side of the house in using grey concrete. I now want to divide the house up a little bit further. This is rather easy. Extend this grey concrete block at the back of the build in between all of these windows backwards. We want to connect it to this position, right here next to the side window that takes us out onto the balcony. Really simple. We also want to extend this row to the right like this. Fill this left side in using grey concrete and the rest of the area in front with grey concrete as well, leaving just that back section exposed. The point of this is that we are now able to add smooth quartz stairs extending down from the windows that will take us up to the second floor. And it's up to you whether you want to put anything underneath the stairs, aka more stairs, or just leave them as they are. However, moving upstairs, we want to make an additional wall. So extend this grey concrete here to the left by one, place an oak door left of that, and then extend grey concrete left and join to the side wall. We can then fill this entire area in using grey concrete and this will create a solid wall. We also want to place light blue stained glass extending left of this door right here that just allows us not to fall downstairs but we are still able to maneuver around. Heading inside of this room we want to divide this area up by placing a grey concrete here, door, to grey concrete connecting to the wall and then fill around the door like this. When it comes to the roof all we have to do is add a row of glass block at the front of the build like this with grey concrete behind like so. 
We then want to add an additional row of grey concrete to separate the back portion of the house following the line from the front of the build. We then simply want to fill all of these individual sections in using light blue stained glass. Next, we are going to extend a row of leaves from the front right corner of the build, extending all the way to the back and also across the back as well. Next, we want to create a driveway by digging out the area underneath the overhang, extending from the front of the build all the way into and underneath the overhang. We can connect it to this back support here, or perhaps you could extend it just an additional row further. I do not want it to line up with the back of the house. We will also add some poppies up at the left side of the exposed drive as well. I don't want it to be in between the supports of the overhang there. I also want to add some paving slabs leading from the pavement to the front door. So leave a gap of one in front of the door and just left of it and then dig in the ground and place some smooth stone. Leave a gap of one, dig in the ground and place some smooth stone. There we go. We want to create a similar effect extending out from the back door. So leave a gap of one. Dig in the ground, gap of one, dig, gap of one, dig, one more time, gap of one, dig. Replace these with smooth stone, just like so. Next, come all the way to the first paving slab and leave a gap of two extending left, so one, two. Then, dig a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, extending left. And then extending back, also dig a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then dig to the right, one, two, three, four, five, to line up with the front, and then simply connect both sides together. We then want to fill the front of this in with grey concrete, the side and the back, just like this, and then this space in between here, fill in using smooth quartz stairs. And an additional row down. We then want to fill the base of this in with block of iron, but we also want the two center blocks to be sea lanterns, like this. Place smooth quartz... <clears throat> then place smooth quartz slab along the top of the gray concrete and fill the pool in with water. Leaving a gap of one right of this back paving slab, place an oak fence. Leave a gap, oak fence, gap, oak fence. Then place two green shulker boxes on top of each fence extending up. This next bit is a personal choice, however I am going to replace all of my grass with lime terracotta. With the outside of the house now complete, we can head inside and work on the interior. First of all, I'm going to place an armor stand against this wall next to the window, right of it a chest, above that a tripwire hook with an item frame behind it, then next to the chest a smooth quartz stair, scaffolding, lantern on top, and then a smooth quartz stair, the opposite side of it, against this wall a bunch of red carpet, and then we are going to place some paintings on the wall. So I want two one by one paintings, just like this, perfectly situated on the wall, one space away from each other and also from the ends of the wall. Next, place blocks of iron extending up from the floor to the ceiling next to the back door with stone buttons in front. Then a furnace right of this with an item frame on top, cauldron to the right with a trip wire hook above it, Light grey concrete extending right of the cauldron with stone buttons in front. Stack a brewing stand with a flower pot on top of there. Then against this interior wall, place two bookshelves extending from the ground upwards. Two note blocks right of the bottom shelf and then bookshelves extending all the way to the right covering this wall. A painting above the jukeboxes. I specifically want the blue one. That's the one. Then. In front of the jukeboxes, leaving a gap, place smooth quartz slab on the ground. Against this wall, place two smooth quartz stairs. 
Right of this, an end rod with a grey glazed terracotta on top. Left of this, a scaffolding. Maybe even a pot on top of the scaffolding as well. And we also want to place some red carpet in front of these stairs. I also do think that this staircase would look better with upside down stairs underneath. Next, let's head upstairs and we can begin work up here. First of all, a grey glazed terracotta in the corner with an oak leaf on top. Then, red carpet along the landing here. Maybe extend it into the stairs. I don't know whether I like that, that or that better. I think that that might be my favourite. Anyway, I'm going to place a one by one painting here on this wall and I am considering another one next to it, but I don't know if I like that. Or alternatively, one here and then one just slightly below it here. Of course, it's the same one. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Next, heading into the bedroom, we first of all want to place a bed. There we go. Next to it, an armor stand. Next to that, a chest. And next to that, bookshelves extending up from the ground. Then we can place a painting on this wall next to the bed. There we go. That's perfect. I've just destroyed the armor stand. So let's replace this and maybe we can place a lantern just above the chest as well. Heading into the bathroom now. First of all, just behind the door, place an upside down smooth quartz stairs with a spruce trap door on top. Right of it, a cauldron with a tripwire hook above it. And then extending out from this wall, a row of light blue stained glass pane, leather extending from the wall, heavy weighted pressure plate on the ground, and there we go. And that is the tutorial for the house 100% fully completed. However, that is not the end of this video. We must now take our brand new modern house and place it in our city. This was actually an incredibly easy decision for once. We are going to take our brand new modern house and use it to make a brand new modern suburb. We'll place it on the opposite side of our train tracks. We'll also make this area a little bit higher. And we will also add in a little bit of infrastructure around this just so that it blends into the city a little bit better. And that's it. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking for more builds to add to your city, look no further than the mini city builds playlist down below in the description. Almost 60 videos strong as of recording this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.